Thank you to Babbel for sponsoring this video. More on them after the reaction. Citizens of the Reject Nation, bringing that coy energy today. We are going to watch X Men 97, Episode 4, having our fun little midnight shoot. Koi Jandro, how are you, my friend? I have not been this excited for a midnight shoot since Loki, but before that, in years. Yeah, Loki was 6 p.m. Thank you, Disney Plus. Thank you. It was everyone nice. Everyone at Disney. Could that come back? Glad to be back on this schedule. <laughs> Anywho, guys, uh, before we go into anything, I wanted to thank all of you guys who joined us at WonderCon. It was an exquisite time. It became a lot more heartfelt and it was very different than any panel I've personally ever seen. And it's because of you all and uh, especially the stars of the panel were really coy, Michael and John. You guys did an excellent, excellent job. It was so, a four person panel of Greg's. Yeah, like, everyone, everyone did great but, but me. me. I was I just was so <laughs> down on myself afterwards, beating myself up the entire we all time. Crushed. It was beautiful. It was, it was a panel. great time. So thank you all for joining us and hopefully if you didn't come out to that one you come out to some other live event that we have maybe i'm working on it right now anywho guys leave a like on this video that'd be very much appreciated also be sure to subscribe and click that bell to get notified when our reaction for episode five is up here on the chanel thank you to prepper for helping us edit down these highlights and thanks to all of you who have become super sexy rejects those are those though people yep that's what those are words and they become patrons and then you get the full length of that you watch along where you sync up with your own copy of x-men 97 also cover several things over there exclusively with highlights and watch longest included. Koi son, you ready? That was like jazz. Let's do it. Let's jazz it up. Oh, oh new start? Yeah. Oh, this doing different universe. renditions. Just... Oh, nice. Okay, let's see what new clips they incorporate this All time. Right. <gasps> ba -da -ba -da -ba. Okay, Jubilee spot. There's new. Oh, new mojo. Mojo. Lots of mojo. Ooh. Oh, the actual Shi'ar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Correction from last week. Yeah, fair. Oh, is that Polaris? That's new. Close up on Forge there. Ooh, oh, Club. yes. And new Xavier in the Hellfire Club, I think. I think we caught every new thing. I Give us credit did. in the comments. Thank you. <laughs> Motendo. So this has got to be the Mojo episode. Got to be, and especially with the intro having him for the first time. Take some cream with it. Aw, thanks, He was dressed You're like that at sweet. WonderCon. The voice actor. Oh, cool. It's three sugars. I'll take a cappuccino if you just take an orders. No. <laughs> Luckily, I am giving them. <laughs> Ooh, third wheel? Surely our youngest member deserves some jubilation on her 18th birthday. I second the blue Rogaine ad. Kid deserves it. <laughs> Jubilee will see far more birthdays should she learn to master her powers to face a world that despises her. Someone's daddy didn't get him a pony for his sweet 16. <laughs> oh, man. My parents perished when I was a child. Who's got <laughs> <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, happy birthday, sweet pea. How do you want to celebrate the big 18? We are all eating. See my flannel? What's wrong with just one day where I don't have to freak out about the professor or Jean and her clone or Cyclops and his latest control issue? I like that she's a Bruce Lee fan for the yellow. They aren't even here because they just had to go play mutant politics at the United Nations. Genosha entering the UN is a big deal. 90797. You actually do play video games? The only people who hate video games are bad at video games. This one isn't mine. Never even heard of a Motendo. A Motendo oh, Apocalypse. This is amazing. <laughs> This is like Jumanji, welcome to the jungle. Yes. I love that the Mojo versus Retro. It looks like the Techno Organic Virus of, of Cable, but plugging her in. What time is it? I assume I won. Wait. <laughs> Sentinels. I'll say it. It's a little spider glitchy. Right, 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 guys? Easter egg, Easter egg. Ooh, how did we get downtown so fast? But we're a reveal shot. Oh, boy. I love the use of mirrors. <laughs> this, like, techno this music. <laughs> like, old school techno. <laughs> Gotta wake up in the Matrix. Use your powers. What if there's cameras around? My parents could see me on TV. Die, beauty. Friends of humanity are here. <gasps> oh, 
<gasps> Doctor Who. <laughs> the Matrix. Hello? Oh, it is Matrix. Damn, <laughs> really yeah, it is the Matrix. Matrix. Yeah. <laughs> Green and all. Yes. Whoa, hold up. What are we doing? We're in the game, right? Are we about to get like a p pixel bit game? I, was I hope so, oh, dude. Storm. What a fun way to meet characters, too, too, if we could do that. And a bunch of other mutants, all enslaved to build by Bolivar Trap. Yeah, harkening back to the first season. <laughs> the sound design is fantastic. <laughs> I didn't do that. Burp. Maybe it was her. Who? Who was her? Hot Topic was in the 90s? Okay. Yeah, it was in when did Hot Topic start? System error. System error. <laughs> like a cyberpunk mirage. She an NPC? We are totally in a video game. We're what? Pay attention to the young Whoa. lady. You're like totally in a video game. Mojo lost weight. Ozempic. <laughs> Mozempic. <laughs> Mojo here. Your primetime psycho interdimensional alien TV producer who feeds off ratings. <laughs> Putting the X-Men through overly complicated death traps to entertain my slave. <laughs> Looks like you've been dieting? Exactly. You noticed! Got some nip, some tuck. Nip tuck. Ratings are down, 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 and I'm ah, thirsty for the next big thing, dirty girl. What an 18th birthday. That's why I made the pivot to video games. It's a thriving industry. Yep, smart. Yeah. You're not just in. Oh, God, oh, no. Did not want that shot. Player numero uno of my first blockbuster release where every level is based off your own memory. That actually sounds like a cool video game. So you're my gamer girl in a gamer world. That's a fun 90s reference. The future of Motendo, that's Mo for Mojo, in every home. On every world. I like it. It's like a Black Mirror thing. Yeah, strong. Also, Batman Returns. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Batman and Rob. Uh, you know, Batman Forever. Forever. And what if we refuse to play your game? What then? Well, I don't want to say something scary, like if you die in the game, you die in real life, but... That is the case. Stakes. <laughs> Turn those frowns upside down before I cut you like a one-hit wonder. Jubilee, be young forever, replay the golden hits, no growing up. What a great way to look at aging. Old X-Men are totally old school. Who's the boss? Oh, this is better. Magneto. Storm, yeah. different worlds. <laughs> Divorce court, Summers versus Grey. <laughs> You're my X-Men, Jubilee, so... Game on! <laughs> Oh, oh, that's cool. cool. <laughs> Look at oh, that's cool. Did you play the X-Men game back in the 90s? Yeah. Yeah, it's so familiar. Here we go. <laughs> no oh, way. Yes. Oh, Days of Future Past. <laughs> that cover. Wolverine and Kitty Pride are them. Oh, that makes me happy. See, I don't think you could have done this in the 1990. This is amazing. <laughs> amazing. <laughs> the pixel version of it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, where'd he go? Oh, oh, oh back to the size. Big and it's like Cell. He powers up, changes shape. Oh, that's cool. Savage. Or Sauron. Sauron, yeah. Sauron. In the Savage Land. I hope we get him in movies. I hope they do the Savage Land. Hey, it's that character you thought Not of. a Shi'ar. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, it's rigged in her favor. Patch that bug, Spiral. This is what you get. How did Morpho spark? Failing to kill the bug. Remember that? Nothing wrong. My favorite level. Where are we going? Probably find a way out of here. What's the rush? These levels are taking me back. Nostalgia's she, dangerous, she Jubilee. Is Nostalgia's dangerous. <laughs> Sooner or later, you gotta grow up. Otherwise, reality will smack you right in the face. Oh no. <laughs> She's gonna verse Magneto. Old school Magneto. This is cool to get old school Magneto though. It is. In the 90s posing. He's got a pattern of attack. Typical boss battle shenanigans. I just need to wait for it to cycle. 
Hearts is cool because in Jubilee's first episode of the show, she was playing an arcade. Yeah, her at the mall is always so her. She's the right one for this. <laughs> That's also the laugh from the video game, I think. <laughs> Total victory. No, no, no. This can't be happening. Is that health? An extra life. <laughs> Viral! I thought I told you to get rid of her! <sighs> <laughs> I dead? Oh, thank goodness. I thought I lost you. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at his eyes. I don't know where I'm going. I'm scared. This place is very dangerous. I'm going to get out I don't speak justifiably angry Portuguese. <laughs> I messed up. Big time. Oh, is it that probability guy with the domino power? Played by Louis Tan. <laughs> Long shot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it that? I is think so. Oh yeah, who is this? I hacked you out of the game server cool. and into Mojo's broadcast servers to buy us some time. She's a plot twist. Zip it, Zip it Costa. What is she? Like I said, <laughs> way back. Days of Future Past ish. Oh, that is neat. Explain everything. <laughs> you gotta test a game before launch. Running endless trial loops with you two was too risky. Dude, old Jubilee looks kind of hot. H well. Mojo needed beta testers. I've played these levels inside and out. Relived the glory days more than I care to count, but note the uh, hair and wrinkles. You look great. Keep up whatever you're doing. Before Mojo killed the beta, I figured out a glitch and hacked my way through here before deletion. Figures my game has cheat codes. Very me. <laughs> <laughs> Same move. I know a part of you wants to hang here. It always stays the same, but that's not living. They're setting us up for a big twist. And remember, we met Forge and Storm at the bar. What do you say we destroy Mojo's game and get you two lovebirds out of here? Cool. Two that is disturbing. Yes. I like how there's a different translation for what the audience is actually viewing. Yeah. In world, out of world. If I remember correctly, Mojo was giant like this in, in one of the games. Yes, you Oh, he finally is. Yeah. yeah. There you go, buddy. Oh, Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> Their powers oh, combined. Cool. I like that it looked like an atom for a second. But I swear, I'll cut you in the reason. <laughs> <laughs> now that's a commentary for today. I love the view. I don't know if you saw the Scott Pilgrim versus the world. Oh, yeah, it did the anime? Yeah. Yeah. The new vibes it was that. really cool. <laughs> oh, they didn't get to the apocalypse level. You could have. Yeah. Talk about risk. Oh, now she's got the sparkle in her eye. Oh, oh she went in for it. All the way. Not even 90 10. Sparks are flying. And that's how Jubilee got pregnant. <laughs> and then she has a vampire baby. Tune in the comics. <laughs> part one. The comic is a part one, part two. Is this episode part one, part two, or is it just doing a part one? <laughs> be bold. I wonder if there's going to be a gap episode where it's like later in the season. My papa's bison chili. It's a leaner cut. Gives room for the spices to do their magic. I'm pescatarian. How does it work? A mutant who can invent anything he can conceive. I can get at parts of the brain that are normally dormant in humans. Draw unique connections. See how bits fit. Okay. Such a fun character. But if you're needing a meat toaster or a thing that'll store your mutant powers. Or a bowl of this delicious chili. <laughs> yep, we're chili. Then I'm your man. He's really seducing her. <laughs> May I ask? I was a soldier. There was a war. I miss soaring. The wind in my hair, so powerful it's hard to breathe, but so fresh is to be worth it. Hmm. Your mutant gifts have allowed you to fix yourself. Wasn't anything to fix. Just adapted and got a little creative. <laughs> Let's go for a ride. It's a clever shot. 
That's Wild West love. They cute. That owl, I've seen him before circling. Perhaps he is like the winds. The moon affects tides and temperatures. Or a spy. <laughs> the real trick to reversing what the executioner did to you wasn't making an inverted version of its radiation. It was creating a machine that could safely channel such power. Uh, yes! You ready? Is this like the beta stage of the thing that becomes the time travel machine? I think they past? could use it that way. I am Storm, mistress of the elements. Rise winds and move the desert sands. These birds are playing a cool joke. This isn't happening, Forge. It can't be real. I know, Aurora. Beautiful shot. After the war, I didn't have the resources to build what I so easily saw in my mind. The Defense Department offered to help me, as long as I helped them build some devices. Uh-oh. Devices that could be used to neutralize dangerous mutants. Oh, jeez. Oh, you made these? No, a scientist in Scotland did. More? Using my early designs, rough strokes at best. I left the government by then. You, of all people, should know the perils of trusting those in Washington. <laughs> this is not a lie. I could live forever, and still my endless imagination would never conceive of a thing as perfect as you. What a line. Smooth Forge. You are a goddess. Powers be damned. How do you not see that? Then you can go where you can stay, but I love you. You meant to make me a goddess. Instead, you have fashioned a fool. Cool. This is so strange that they're putting this on the end of this End of episode. Motendo. Yeah. I wonder if they were worried people wouldn't like a drama, they would give it some action, or if it was an episode cut. Because life does such a big story. I was just coming upstairs after you. What? How did I return here? Whoa. Damn demon! Oh, jeez. Do you know what this is? Okay. Is this death? No. You live disappointed, trapped here, haunted, suffering, despairing. Listen to the voice. And I, the adversary, Her? shall not waste <laughs> my meal. She was the owl? Fascinating. And then there's like a two or three issue gap. So like two or three months between the comics of Life, Death, Part 1 and Part 2. <laughs> so it'd be really cruel if they do another different episode next week. Hello there, esteemed viewer of The Real Rejects. I, Greg Alba, language connoisseur and worldly gentleman, am here to bestow upon you the secrets of Babbel. Babbel is an engaging language learning app designed for real-life conversations, offering quick 10-minute lessons tailored by linguistic experts to effectively teach you a new language. Its conversation-based approach, enhanced with speech recognition technology, makes Babbel worth trying for anyone looking to learn at their own pace, anytime, anywhere. My dear friends, in this age of monolingual mundanity, 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 Mundanity. Babel is our beacon of hope. Crafted by an army of over 150 language experts, their lessons are like linguistic caviar. Rich, refined, and oh so satisfying. Personal tale of triumph. I once whispered sweet nothings in Spanish, or for the layman, Espanol, to my wife, courtesy of Babel. Her reaction, well, I'll tell you, she was utterly bewitched. Greg, you silver-tongued devil. No paraphrase. She exclaimed such vocabulary as I basked in the glory of my perfect pronunciation. Because Babel isn't just about learning words. It's about embracing the art of conversation with podcasts, live classes, and a veritable smorgasbord of interactive lessons. I know the words I'm saying. And their speech recognition? It's like having a personal language butler. Ensuring every syllable is impeccably crisp. Now brace yourselves for an offer of monumental proportions. Here's a special limited, limited, time. limited time. Deal for our viewers and listeners to get you started right now. Get 55% off your Babbel subscription. But again, only for our viewers at babbel.com slash rejects. 55% off at babbel.com slash rejects. Spelled B-A-B-B-E-L dot com slash rejects. Rules and Restrictions may apply. Join me, the Greg Alban, the adventure of language mastery at Babbel. We shall not just learn no, nay, we shall conquer the world of communication. Or as they say in Spanish, comunicación. <laughs> I 
We're done with this ad. Well, yep, yep. That was a that was a bit of a strange one, wasn't it? Was it? Kind of it, was a, it was a little strange. Was, I still liked it, but not the same level of like wild, blinding. How does this exist? Yeah, yeah. I, Which is I, an unfair bar. I think the other ones I was like emotionally enthralled with, mm-hmm. and I think the, the like as 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 cool as the animation is, and as fun as Motendo World is. And uh, as as neat as it is setting up this life death story, yeah, I did find myself just kind of at a distance with this episode a little bit more than I usually am. I'm not gonna like write off this show just because of that. Reg uh, thinks it went too woke. Too and he's out. woke. Where's Rogue's ass? Yeah, bring it back. Justice for Rogue's booty. She wasn't even in this episode she to have a booty, yeah, but she, if she was, if she was, oh man, I'd be pissed. List. Freaking making Mojo lose weight. Come on. Come on. What is this? Body positivity. <laughs> then he got fat again and Just, we we're supposed to celebrate. Oh, my gosh. Shame, uh, shame, shame. I don't know which we're shaming. I don't know. <laughs> I, I think the issue for me was that the Mojo episode was so action packed and then life death is meant to be somber. So it's hard in one 30 minute window to be like, we're driving 100 miles per hour. Take it down to 20. It and was, like that is, I think, just a disservice to both because it felt like Mojo had to end in time for life death. And then life death had to catch up on an emotional weight that we hadn't had five minutes ago. It's like everything felt serial. Like, see, the thing is, I think it was only 10 episodes here. Yeah. Whereas like the original animated series was shorter in runtime per episode by a few minutes. Shorter in runtime per episode. Um but, you know, they would have their episodes that maybe weren't as serialized, whereas here I think they're aiming to be a little bit more serialized. So the Mojo one, I kind of accepted that, all right, yeah, this is probably just like their fun, episodic, because Mojo had been in a few, had their, uh, there was a few episodes of Mojo in uh, the original series. So I was like, all right, this is cool. Yeah, and I like what they're doing with the video game and the mm-hmm. animation. Uh, I thought that was a lot of fun and uh, getting to have a Jubilee focus episode, that was a lot of fun. And then it was like, no, but... We- we got to keep this serialized series. So I, was like, I appreciate the effort, but it didn't allow me to get kind of wrapped up in the for the heart that I think they were aiming for when it came to Forge and, and Storm. Like I, everything I, I had sort of a, at a distance of an appreciation, but again, it was like the emotional connection mm-hmm. that I normally, that I've been finding with X-Men episodes one through three that was like, okay, is it maybe, maybe on a rewatch. I don't know. It's still good and I still yeah. enjoyed it, but I definitely found that, the meta comedy in the first half was so different than a drama love story that right, right. it really didn't allow me to pull myself in a direction. I felt like I was being pulled apart. Like those were such <laughs> yeah. different stories that uh, the issue I think was also like, I know life death well enough that when it said it in the opening credits, I was watching the movie, the, the, the first half going like, how are they going to go? And then when it happened, I was like, why would they? and then by the time I did it, I was like, did it feel <laughs> and nothing ever like stuck. It all yeah. felt like it was moving around. And I think that a 20 minute episode about Mojo and 20 minute episode about life death, even a week apart would have felt more full than splitting a 30 minute and a half. That's very true. Hey, just cool. a week apart. Why don't you lay down a little bit more opinions for a little while? Okay. Well, Greg's multitasking. Completely un- <laughs> yeah, for no reason. Just uh, uh, so for Life man. Death is a really interesting comic that deals with these beautiful painting-esque. It's, it's, the art oh, is yeah? stunning. Oh, yeah? That's cool. Uh, and, and they captured some of that. That's a positive. The backgrounds, yeah. the vibe, those experiences. But if you think about it from a visual standpoint, making a meta commentary on nostalgia and using pixels and making things that are visual humorous plays and then going into like painted vistas, even from a visual standpoint, standpoint it's jarring so narratively it goes jarring because you're like nostalgia is dangerous that could have been its own episode because it's a show the nostalgia this is a 97 set show we're all adults watching a show from our childhood and new kids discovering it are not going to have that same novelty for the 90s but it's not for them this episode was for us so to be so connected to the nostalgia and the meta and then go to these like painted vistas it felt really hard to attach to the new slow westerny pace and then I felt like I couldn't quite believe Forge and Storm because the whole time I kept being like, feel this. Remember to feel it. Uh, and that was disorienting. Well, allow me to pitch something to you of what I think they were also going for. Uh, if, because they had Jubilee in the video game yes. world, like the older Jubilee. And then in the Storm world, there was like the mirror of the owl. So it's like one was like this beautiful reflection of Jubilee from the future. And then they had this darker reflection of Storm 
and this I, I don't know what that owl thing I don't know what that is but it's I mean it's, it's, it's a very like voice but, druggy but it's like um, a psychedelic yeah sy- <laughs> psychedelic symbolic thing of conquer thyself something with, yeah <laughs> Tune in next week. I'm not sure what <laughs> what was happening there, but I was like, "Nito." So she is the owl. That's cool. I like that. And her and Forge have a romance. Yes, and like theirs is really beautiful. Um, it actually leads into a lot of the really great Jim Lee '90s stuff. Like they have a really beautiful cover where it's like um, them kissing, but they put them like kind of in the background. So there's a lot of empty space, and you just feel that like loneliness of their romance because of the empty space in the frame. Yeah. And I really like when art is, a, it has the room to breathe. So that also their romance always had the room to breathe. The, the art and the comics always kind of like made them feel a little outside of, of everyone else's relationships kind of in the foreground, obviously Gene and Scott's and Wolverine, like, you know, being this little lovesick puppy Wolverine and, and storm even have a relationship that feels more present forge it always felt like a thing that could not be Mm. and because of that i would have loved a whole episode leading up to that betrayal and kiss or like leading up to this why can't this be yeah because they were attempting to have that like more patient pacing with it Mm -hmm. which i I appreciated a drama in animated form yeah again yeah it's the swing it's the pendulum it is it is it is just so completely the the opposite yeah and maybe there are there are guys like out there like uh, who watched it who had no issue uh, adjusting to it and it wasn't like it was an issue of adjustment it was like it was an issue of impact i think is more mm. of what i would lead it down to you know and that was that was about it yeah i'm still really glad to see life death i'm still excited for part two i, I really liked the really fun commentary and nostalgia and how dangerous it is to just live for the past. I really, really, and this is something I've thought about a lot. I personally don't rewatch shows a lot. I don't have the same comfort shows like the office and parks and rec and stuff. Like a lot of people do. If the office is on, I might catch one or two a month. Probably not even maybe, maybe a quarter. I just don't watch shows again. And then the, the line about like, escaping the cliffhanger that you know is going to come and this reliving that comfort. I totally get how people enjoy that, but repetition drives me brain crazy because I feel like I'm not living my life. Even in watching something new, you're at least living the emotional through line. So it was really ironic that I was like, Oh, an emotional through line. And then the emotional through line felt like it dropped it. <laughs> yeah. So like I personally don't rewatch a lot because I like living those highs and lows for the first time more than I like the comfort of rewatching. So it was really ironic that life death followed and felt like it was kind of a revisit because of the comic. Yeah, that's fair. That's a fair point. What did overall though? When it overall, came to, to the Motendo episode, did you like it though? The Motendo element really liked uh, Life Death. I'm hoping the second part pays off enough that it'll make the whole feel better. Um, but I, I, this would be my. What's tricky is this show has been like an A so far, and yeah. it's really impressed and surprised me. This was like a B. Like it's still not bad. I just it's the the bar has been so high for one through three that I feel like this skidding to a B feels way more of a drop than it actually is. Yeah, Other shows fair. getting a B is like, oh good, I'm glad this was a B. I'm glad this was good. But when this drops, I'm like, what what, what happened? It was interesting getting Mojo in here, and there's something about her presence in particular. If I recall from the at least from the from the original show, she was they they really honed in on like feeling like a a, a satire of, and and they still do that here like executive producer. Mm-hmm. And what I thought was funny is they they were carefully crafting their lines, where at times it was like this sounds more like a commentary of producers today. So yeah. they even had like a full can get have me canceled line. Yeah, which is definitely not of 97. Yeah, that's not a 97 sentence. It was like that's a today sentence. It was definitely do. for our audience yeah. to go, ah, cheeky. Yeah. But then while having the nostalgic throwback to like the video games, the pixels. I loved like the sound design in this episode. The sound design, the music changing, the the sound design of the fights and the battles and like the 16 bidding things was so great. That's the word, 16 bit. Keep yeah. saying pixel. Uh, yeah, 16 bit. That 16 bit energy was strong. And I really liked that stuff. So I don't want people to think this was just a negative for me. It's just the ending just felt so like a different show. So I, I wish it had been two episodes. And I'm liking that they're having Storm earn her powers back. After Not what just happened. like. Boop. Yeah, yeah, and, there, and and I think uh, at least watching again the trajectory of how I think the original show might have handled it, I think it might have like Storm was always a strong character, but there was a lot of like wallowing that she would do. Yeah, so I, 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 <laughs> Jean's I, always fainting, Storm's yeah. always wallowing. They would have the women want wallow. I do wall. like that they and, gave us the Jean mislead by having the one that faint be the real one though. And I like, <laughs> yeah, and I like how uh, Storm was at least being reactive in these situations. Like there was still sorrow. 
there was still a yearning to you know mm. get her powers back and all these things, but a commanding sorrow. Yeah, there was still like agency to her characters. Yeah, and, and I and I and I like how she didn't like just accept the love from Forge right away. Right, like it took her like she she rejected it flat out. And also from Forge only being in the Days of Future Past episodes, if I'm not mistaken, in, in the original series, it is cool to like go back. Like they're doing that with Bishop. I love his voice. Forge, he, the, the actor's strong. I really liked Forge here. I liked yeah. all the pieces a lot. It just. I think putting all the pieces together was a little jarring for me. Yeah. It was like a double feature. It was like, uh, what was it? Death race and uh, planet terror. I'm like, what is happening? Things I was changed. actually thinking of like, that. Yeah. Too. I was thinking of grindhouse. It's very grindhouse. Like, uh, I remember the first time I watched grind. Like I actually, I loved grindhouse and it took me a, a while to adjust though, to, to watch the, it as an entire like, go from like crazy B movie pulp, zombie flick to, wow, we were watching something that's remarkably slow right now. And you know what this could have had? Commercials in between in Mojo Verse. Oh yeah, it could have yeah. done it the grindhouse have, thing and just actually been it. a little bit cleaner. It could have embraced it have a tiny some, bit. Like put a pizza commercial in yeah. the middle for the nineties. You pizza guys could have animated more for us. That's what we want. You guys could have done more you. work for us. Now we just sit here criticizing. The thousands of employees who worked on this. Yeah. Shame. Shame on you. And they watch this. So we're talking directly to those that <laughs> yeah, watch this. Yeah, those who watch Because we talked to some or... of them at WonderCon. <laughs> yeah, and they're yeah, delightful people. We did. We had a couple of them. <laughs> <laughs> and we reaction. love you and appreciate <laughs> your work very much. I'm sorry we had to say a couple but slightly shame negative. On but you. shame, shame on you. Shame on you. <laughs> I hope by next week you've rewritten the next episode think, for us. I think we handled it fair and I delicately. Think, uh, I think we did our best. I also think that maybe we should make a storm video of some kind about how great when yeah. she doesn't wallow. We got Koi's Comic Corner coming back, guys. And so keep a lookout for that. Storm hard course. But, um, I mean, I throw it to you guys. Did you absolutely loathe and hate this episode the same way Koi <laughs> and I did? Leave your comments down Are below. Are you quitting the MCU? Are you t- does this, did, did they just go too woke here? Leave your thoughts <laughs> down below. Uh, subscribe, <laughs> click that bell. And hey, <laughs> Join us next week, or hopefully Koi will be here. You'll know what I mean next week. (laughs) We'll all find out together. (laughs) See you guys.